joined by Michael Anderson, Managing Director of Firefitch. Michael, thanks for your time. Thanks, David. Last time we spoke, you were a month into the job. Big, exciting plans for what uh, was ahead for Firefinch. Yeah. Do you pinch yourself now of what the company's achieved in the last 12 months? Very much so. You know, I think we've, we've hardly missed a beat in terms of the operational uh, improvements and, and, and developments at Marilla. You know, commencing dewatering, recommencing mining, recommissioning the commutation circuit, and now into the, uh, the mining uh, of Marilla. And we'll, we'll access first ore from Marilla uh, this quarter. And we're on a path to uh, significantly increase production. So that's great. And, and this time last year, we were in a process to attract a partner for the lithium project, Gulamina. We ended up with Gan Feng, who are the world's leading chemical supplier. You know, great outcome for us. And went through a process of upgrading that DFS, uh, making a final investment decision. And now, as we announced a couple of days ago, on the brink of demerging uh, the lithium. Uh, and the, the future looks you know, equally exciting this year, even though we've achieved all of that. So when you look forward now, having had a year in the chair and all the big achievements that the company has made, what are the milestones investors should be looking for going forward? Well, it is good to give these two companies their independence. Um, they can be looked at as pure plays, valued as pure plays. And when we look at that way, alongside some of the peers, you know, we still see huge value upside. You know, Gulamine is a world-class deposit, um, great scale, got the funding in place, got the partner, got the offtake, and is in construction. Uh, and I think sometimes people forget just how advanced it is, but yet it is significantly undervalued against its peer group. So that's an exciting opportunity. And bringing this to the market now, uh, I think that's what people should focus on, continuing to deliver on that. For us at Marilla, uh, you know, we've been mapping out this production growth. We produced 45,000 ounces last year, but we're on the brink of 100,000 ounces this calendar year and on to 150, 200,000 ounces in the year ahead. But also drilling, and the more we drill, the more we find. And we're very confident of upgrading our resource and reserve and mine life going forward at Marilla and the growth to maximize uh, uh, Marilla's value proposition. But importantly, we will be retaining 20% uh, of Leo Lithium, and that will be we think a very huge value driver in our proposition going forward and help us fuel some other growth ambitions in the M&A space. Talking about M&A, everyone talks about M&A, uh, things at an overpriced stage or an underpriced stage. What's your view on M&A and, and do you think there is opportunity out there to add value? There's always opportunity, but value is that key word. We won't need to be in a rush and we're not just going to grow for the sake of growth. You know, if you look at our company and the board that will be uh, uh, remaining in place, Alistair as chairman, Nasser Cowden, Brad Gordon, who's been a CEO of a multi-billion dollar gold business himself. You know, I've been on multiple boards, been ac across multiple inbound and outbound deals. We'll back ourselves to be objective and rational on value propositions. And, and look, you know, your timing can be key. Look at the Marilla acquisition, 30 million bucks at a time when, uh, you, you know, the market was pretty buoyant, but right time, right place. Uh, and being patient uh, and being disciplined is the key. You and the team have achieved a great deal in the last 12 months. We look forward to following the process and the progress of Firefinch over the next 12 months and beyond. Mike, thanks for your time. Thank you, David.